take a seat. So I'm gonna turn and face you, you still face the screen. And we'll do something that, uh, it's one of those moments that it's like you either feel nothing in the stretch or you feel everything. So congratulations, Shin Baby Steve. Take the sole of your right foot and hook it into your left elbow crease. Now, if that feels good, use your right hand to kind of shove your right knee closer towards the other side of the room so that your right knee is lining up with your right armpit. Now, that can be enough. You can basket grip your hands around your shin, start to rock a little bit right and left. From here, place your right hand onto the floor behind you, lean back towards your right hand. And now everyone's going to look a little different here and kind of do their own thing, but you want to start to rock onto the outside of your right hip. So trying to massage through the IT band, sciatic area, just to get into that outer hip, low back, low hip area. Begin to release the right leg down. Congratulations, it's twins, Shin Baby Steve on. Sole of the left foot into your right elbow crease. You can use your left hand to kind of direct the left knee closer over towards the opposite armpit. But again, a little rock side to side to get you started. Begin to plant your left hand back behind you. This is always the side that I feel it a lot deeper on. But playing, rocking really back into that hand, rocking over towards the hip, pulling the knee across the chest. Your body will definitely tell you when it is starting to feel this stretch in the outer hip, sciatic nerve area. Alrighty team, begin to release out of that and come into a wide-legged forward fold. So open your legs out as wide as possible. Little removal of the blessings out from underneath your sits bones. When you are ready, begin to walk your hands any amount forward. Now flex your toes. Notice if your feet are starting to sickle in. Roll your feet back so that your toenails are facing the ceiling as much as possible. And if you're really bendy wendy here, cool. If you are in a working relationship with this, use your hands onto the mat to help encourage your chest to drop down any amount. Begin to walk your head back up. Grab for the outer edges of your legs to bring your knees together and slowly start to recline down onto your back. We'll take this into cow face legs. So wrap your right thigh on top of your left. You can hold here or reach down and grab for your feet. If that feels comfortable, lift your heels up in line with your knees. And like you're trying to create a knot in your legs, pull your thighs, your feet out to either side of the room. If it feels comfortable, rock side to side. Begin to release this into a supine figure four. So once again, your right ankle to your left quad. This time, lift your left foot to parallel with your knee shin area. Use your right hand to push your right knee away from you. Take a breath here. And exhale, supine figure four twist. So the sole of your right foot lands to the outer left edge of the mat. With your right kneecap still facing the ceiling, goal post your arms. Option to deepen this by reaching down with your right hand, grab for the big toe side of your left foot, and use your hand to help really pull your left heel up towards your glutes. So now getting a quad stretch with a hip opener and a sciatic nerve stretch. Boom. Take a breath. Now nice and easy, start to roll back onto your spine. Drop your knees into your chest and then wrap your left thigh up over your right. Option to stay here or reach down, grab for your feet, go a little bit deeper into Gomukhasana legs. Tug of war, your feet out to either side of the room. Rock side to side if that felt comfortable. Line up your heels with your knees. Take another moment here. And exhale, supine figure four left ankle to your right quad either a basket grip behind your right thigh or use your left hand to just gently push the left knee away from your chest breathe in 
and exhale, supine figure four twist. Start to roll onto your right hip so that the sole of your left foot is touching the floor. Redirect your left kneecap to face the ceiling. You can goal post your arms or reach down with your left hand and start to grab for the big toe side of your left foot. Pull your heel in closer towards your glutes. Keep a little bit of that pressure of your left ankle working up against the right quad. And inhale, begin to roll back onto your spine. Drop your knees into your chest and exhale, happy baby. I recommend grabbing for the inside of your ankle area today just to create a little bit more of good pressure into the inner thigh hip flexor area. You can rock side to side, straighten out your legs, any last little movements or wiggles that might work for you. And we'll end how we began class with that supine twist. So right knee back into the armpit, left leg long. Exhale, drop the right leg over towards the right side of the room. Extend the right leg, use your right hand to help roll your outer right hip closer down towards your left heel. And my hope is that this stretch now feels a lot easier, a little bit better in your low back. But keep your right heel elevated in line with your right hip. Inhale back to center. Start to switch out your legs, invite your left knee in. And exhale, supine twist with the left leg straight and your left ankle up in line with the left hip. Use your left hand to help push the left outer hip closer down towards the right heel. Begin to relax your tongue off the roof of your mouth. You can feel it. We're getting closer to Shavasana and you've earned it. Start to roll back onto your spine. Squeeze yourself into one last little tight ball shape. Exhale Shavasana, but check in with your back. So a few things to consider, regular Shavasana or scooch over so that you're in legs on the wall, or if at any point you need to bend your knees and allow your low back to rest a little deeper, go ahead. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. And for a few moments, this is all you have to do. There is no rush. If you would like to be guided back into your body, begin to deepen your breath and introduce movement back into your hands and feet. Let the ripple effect of movement allow your legs and arms to become more involved. Take a good morning stretch. Roll to whichever side you would like and bring your knees in a little bit closer to your chest than what you might normally do. Use your hands to lift yourself up to a seat. Crisscross at your ankles and either bring your hands to your heart or your third eye center today. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste.
Great job, everybody. I really hope your low backs are like, oh, thank you. All right, I'll see you soon. I love you.